What's good, boys? Got a fun video for you today. We're going to teach you how to beat man coverage, every form of man coverage with one route that I think is super underrated uh, on a trip side in. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. If you want to get my New England trip side in, or my, I actually cover Detroit as well, uh, but my trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of my men, 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got, uh, I think 14 ebooks as of today, and we're working on releasing another one this week. So, if you want to get access to that, again, the link is in the description. The PA Shot Wheel is the play we're going to be going over today, and it's becoming a really nice little quick hike play uh, for me uh, against man to man. So, you can kind of literally, you just don't, you don't have to make any adjustments, you just snap the ball. Um, but what's so good about this play is is this little animation that you're going to see right here. So you do need set feet lead for this. That's the only ability you really need um, for this right here. Uh, we're just going to snap the ball, and we're just going to free form outside pass lead, and it's going to create this little one-on-one -on -one type of uh, scenario with our guy and their guy. And again, um, if you want to, you can slant the inside or the middle trips receiver. Okay, uh, just to kind of create this rub. But we're just trying to get this quick little pass off. Um, if you want to put the running back on a route so that you can get the ball out quicker, um, you know, that's fine. You know, so just, but you don't want to like stand here and, and you want to get the ball out. Now, the free form on this is literally horizontal. So we're just trying to out leverage them to the flat. And with free form this year, um, just hard left pass lead, you're almost trying to throw it like a flat route. And a lot of times what you'll what will happen is you will get that animation right there where you're gonna get an instant tackle battle. So you wanna go ahead and like spam the X button, and then you see how I can get out and get about 15 yards. Now, this is just pressed cover zero. So this is just overstorm brave. We're gonna press it. It's what everybody's doing. Um, and then you can just get this out here, and a lot of times break the tackle and get up. Now, the known counter to this is to shade underneath so you shade underneath i can't freeform it there but now what i have with specifically with pa shot wheel you don't find this as much with the other wheel routes in this game okay but what i have with this one is i can now freeform up and out and bomb them over the top you don't find that in other um in other wheel routes this year so now they have to outside third this guy and again, their user's probably going to be somewhere in here, okay? So as long as we can get ourselves a, a, a chance to pick up some pressure, you know, we have an opportunity to hit them over the top because now the outside third goes over there, and now I have a post in the middle of the field, okay? That's what makes this play so good, in my opinion, is that it forces, um, it really forces them out of, it, it should, um, force them out of man to man okay now again you know this guy's coming down in here he's going to use it right here of course they might shade outside if they shade outside you should have a natural win to the inside to throw right in that little alley another thing you can still throw the wheel route though um you can throw the wheel route against anything uh that they want to do as long as you freeform, pass lead outside, freeform outside, he gets that little animation right there. That animation is how you know you won. If you can get this rack animation, um, and I would recommend like actually racking the ball because they did fix some of the rack animations. Um, see there, I threw it just a little bit too late. So your timing does have to be on point here, um, you know. But it's just a flat route, and then you can get that instant tackle battle, and then boom, you're five. A 5 to 10 yard play can become a 50 yard play. Now, if you want to force them to have to shade underneath, just put them on a flat route. And what you'll see with the flat route is it will work pretty good for you. I'll show you that again here. That was a little bit of a bad example. But the flat route will just run flat longer. So you'll see here, just flat pass lead outside. You see you get that rack and you're able to go. So this is a really, really good feature in trips that you're not going to find. And you can isolate this as well, which isn't a bad idea. Just, um, you know, slant this guy and motion him across. Now we're going to isolate the wheel route. Pass lead at freeform outside. Boom. You see how he gets that little animation. So the longer you can get this wheel route to run, really the better. Um, let me show you real quick short side what this looks like. So with this play, and we'll talk about zone in just a minute. Um, but short side 
uh, it should be better. And the reasoning why it should be better is because you're going to get the ball to the player a little quicker. Um, so you're not going to have as big of an issue with the timing of this. And this wheel route's going to get more to the sideline. So again, free form outside. And that time, we again threw that a little too late. If they if they swat it like that, that's because you're throwing the ball too late from what I've tested. Uh, so again, it's just a snap, throw, wheel, boom. And this is a nice little just quick hitting play um, You know that can really put them in a bad spot. So again, just snap, throw, boom. Now, um, the next thing I want to show you, like I said, is I, I really love the fact that if they shade underneath with this specific wheel route the way that it works, you should get a uh, high ball opportunity over the top for a big play. Okay? So, now, let's talk about this play against zone coverage. It's actually better than you might think. Zone coverage this year is not the best um, for a lot of different reasons. But let's show you this. So, if we if we just snap throw it, you see we get almost the same interaction and, and maybe even better to the sideline. It's really hard for them to just be able to say, well, we're just going to play hard flats and we're going to stop it. Well, the hard flats this year, they just don't, they're not very good. And so you see here, like, yeah, they might stop it for five yards. Um, but to me, like, this is just a really, really good quick pass. And it's really hard, um, you know, for them to consistently stop it. So if they go to cover two hard flat, just showing you this real quick. This is a hard flat at cover two. That's the best chance they have. Um, at actually defending this. But the problem is if you see them jump the wheel route, if you just wait for a second, it's going to be open over the top. So again, I'll show you this. There they bite down on the wheel, and then I just throw it back in this little alley right there. Okay, the same thing is true of cover three because of the way these outside thirds work this year is if they come underneath to try to stop this wheel route, then you see here that this little air, that little spot is open um, on that left side. And I'll show it again. That time was a little, little late. But again, or I'm sorry, that was cover two. Let me show you cover three. Good old Prax mode sheds are just absolutely fantabulous. Um, okay, so cover three. And what you should see here, right when he passes that guy, there's that little pocket right there. You don't want to freeform it because it will sometimes do what it just did where it just glitches. Um, ideally, what you honestly want to do is once he passes this flat, just highball outside and you get that nice little pocket right there. Okay? Really good for zone and man, the wheel route. Um, and again, I want, to, I want to like kind of reiterate this a little bit. This wheel, you can throw it against anything. So... You can actually fit the ball in, even if they're in a traditional cover three. You can see how they come inside, boom, and I'm throwing outside. Because they get this little press animation, this little reroute um, on this guy. Another little cool trick is to just motion this guy inside a step or two. Now that, um, now that curl flat or that main coverage is going to come inside as well. So you'll see here, if I motion this guy inside a step or two, now I got, again, just a little bit more leverage to be able to get this guy outside quick, okay? So that's something else that you can kind of add into this. Um, you know, but this honestly really, um, you know, is really a simple play, but it's crazy how effective this little PA shot wheel is. And my recommendation would be to go ahead, um, just because of the game that we the way the game plays this year to take this left side guy and, and put him on a slant. And you see there that time they actually played it. Um, you know, but, but a lot of times this uh, slant will get rerouted and I'm just throwing this quick flat pass. Boom. And we're getting that the quicker you get this out, the better. And that's why I would say maybe consider putting the running back on a route or just blocking him just to give me the ability to throw this quicker. And you see how good this is. Really simple. And again, um, the real benefit to this whole thing is if they do shade underneath, if they do shade underneath, it should be a big play over top. Just pass lead over the top of him. Just like that. Okay? So one of my favorite plays right now, PA Shot Wheel. If you guys want to get my full Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, you want to get all the updates to those ebooks, uh, we released a 55 minute update video for Trips last week. Make sure you join our uh, Patreon. 
10 bucks gets you access to all the ebooks, all the updates. We got 14 Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as several updates uh, with the latest patch. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.